Michelle, thanks a lot. And this morning, CBS 42 School Check team evicted from Pazitz Middle School in Vestavia Hills, the winner of that VEX Middle School World Championship Service Award at the World Robotics Championship. Yeah, we're joined this morning by these amazing students, these eighth graders who also are going to help us understand a little bit more about the robotics world. So thanks so much for being with us this morning and congratulations. Exactly. And I'm going to spread out over here. Uh oh, we display. don't need to mess up the robotics. I'm going to get out of the Away. Ashley, take it away over there. Who are you yeah, to? so, and what's your name? Nancy. Nancy, tell us what you're going to be doing today. Well, um, we have our field set up with a bunch of cones, the okay. yellow ones, and the mobile goals, the red and blue ones. And this is your robot that you've built, and your goal is to move these cones in different ways, and this is what you do during the competition. Well, we're trying to get the yellow cones stacked onto the mobile goals, which are the red and blue ones, and okay. we put the mobile goals in different points. Like a video game. Take it away. Let's see what you got. All right. Let me get out of the way there. Oh, that's happening. Now, who's driving? Um, Russell and Enix. Okay, talk, talk, talk to me about what you're doing here as you drive this. Um, so, I'm going over and picking up these right here, and then I'm just trying to stack them as high as I can on them. Yeah. Nancy, tell us, how did you guys come up with the design? Well, we went through many different types of parts of the robot, and we just brainstormed ideas and just decided on a list. Okay. And there's some different requirements. They can only be a certain size, right, and a yes. certain height. So tell us about that. Well, you have to fold up into it by 18 by 18 by 18. Oh, wow. But we can extend about four feet tall. Okay. And do you take both of these robots to competition with you? Yes. Which, which one is, is the winner? Well, the one with the red tag, the tall one right here, okay. is the one that went to world. Okay. Hey, John, you're going to talk about the, this is, the challenge is that this is actually a game, right? What are the rules? Uh, you, you can pick off my mic. Talk about the rules for the game. All right. So pretty much it's like... The game is the line system skills. So pretty much you have two robots on the red line right over there. Right. Um, two blue. And so the whole objective is trying to get these clones scored in different ways. So these little goals right here, they're quite special. Uh -huh. We got these little end zones. And right. they have a bar, so we'll have like one right there. Right. One right there. And each zone is sequentially small. And so what you're trying to do is you're either trying to move those as far as you can, or you're trying to stack as high as you can and then get it. And so it moves up by point values by five. So yeah. five, ten. But this last point, which is actually kind of like this big, that would be twenty. Okay. And so that's what you want to go for. Well, well, yeah, and we have our teacher here. I, I was going to wrap things up. So tell us about how they did in competition and why this means so much to Pazitz and Vestavia Hills. Ha they have done such a great job. These students, and they are not just 8th graders. We have 6th, 7th, and 8th graders wow. here. Amazing. Middle school. Th middle yeah. school. And they have started from these parts, programmed, built a robot that can compete on the world stage. Over 60 countries in one place, 2,000 kids, they're going to be the world changers. We are looking at 1.7 million robots in the U.S. by 2020. And wow. over half of our military combat forces will be robots not unlike these. So these are our, not just future engineers, but these kids are taking an interest and they're opening up opportunities for a lifetime. That's amazing. Well, y'all yeah. are doing an incredible job. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah, congratulations, Thank you. guys. These guys are already leaders. Absolutely.